Această emisiune este sponsorizată de Centrul de Carte Străină SITCA. Good afternoon and welcome to our new English session. My name is Andrea Moldoveanu and I'm here to talk about what's the weather like. This is the title of our lesson. I'm an English teacher at secondary school number 40, Bucharest. I have been teaching English for more than 12 years. Now I will introduce my new students, Christy and Nicole. Hello Christy, hello Nicole. Hello. Hello. Christy, do you remember what did we talk about last time, last session? What was the title? We talked about mental health. Okay. And today we will talk about weather and how weather will influence our mental health. So, in this lesson, learners, my students, will talk about the weather and views from their window. Then they practice the vocabulary and pronunciation as well as recycled related language. Next, they complete a simple research task and find out about the weather in another country. Finally, they will describe what they can see out their window and talk about what they would like to see using their imagination. Dear kids, I have prepared for you a game. Uh, it's called tongue twister. Have you ever done this exercise at school, Nicole? Uh, no, I haven't. What about you, Christian? I have not. Okay, so we have here a difference of pronunciation, well, let's say a little difference of pronunciation between the word weather and weather. Are you curious to find out? Yes. Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Christian, what is the missing word? Hot. Yes. Can you please say faster this sentence? Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot, we have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. You can notice we have here the right pronunciation of this word. So we pronounce weather and as the synonym of the word F. Put up with means to accept, to continue an unpleasant situation or experience according to the Cambridge Dictionary. Nicole, can you give me examples of types of weather? Uh, yes, sunny. Yes. Foggy. Okay. Rainy. Rainy. Snowy. Snowy. And the last one? Windy. Wind. Okay. I will give you a task, a research task. You have to find out the capital city of a country and what the weather is like there. So, I think you have 10 seconds. Is it okay for you to focus, Nicole? Yes. Can you tell me what is the capital city of the country that you have chosen and to talk I, about the weather? I chose the country France. The capital city is Paris. The weather there <clears throat> is sunny with an average rainfall and is recommended for at this time of the year that it will be quite hot outside and foggy to visit friends. Very nice. What about you, Christian? It would definitely be London or England 
in England, today, tomorrow, usually, it's always raining. And it is foggy, and the weather is usually bad. Would you like to live in London, Christian? Or to study Honestly, there? Honestly, to study... If I recall currently, Cambridge is there. I could deal with the weather, and especially because most jobs are easily accessible, I would definitely live there. Nicole, did you know that English people at each 30 minutes talk about weather? Did you know that no, fact? I did. No, I so didn't know that fact. It's their favorite way of talking about weather. So, Christian, because it's afternoon and it's sunny outside, what do you see? from your window, I mean. Have a look. Can you please describe? I saw a sunny, clouded sky. Nicole? And a car. Nicole, what can you see from your window now? Uh, <clears throat> it is very cloudy and sunny at the same time. I saw a park full of kids and uh, a lot of buildings. Now, please close your eyes. And imagine for a few moments what would you like to see out your window? For example, I'd like to see UFOs. I would like to see kids flying. I don't know. Use your imagination. Uh, Christy, close your eyes for a few moments. Okay, wake up. Nicole, what would you like to I'll, see? I'd like to see the moon and the UFOs. The moon and the UFOs. Very well. Christian, what would you like to see? I would like to see... the sun. Okay. May I draw the sun? Yes, you may. So, I'm not very good at drawing. <laughs> okay, and what would you like to see? Nicole said UFOs. Would you like to draw a, a UFO? Yes. Okay, let's see if I am talented. Nicole, do you like my drawing? Uh, yes, I do. It's really pretty. This is another exercise. Christian, what does it represent? A hand. Specifically A hand. the right one. Very well. So, uh, this hand shows your favorite weather. And each finger shows what can we do in your favorite weather? What can you uh, dress up? What you can't do? And advantages and disadvantages of that weather. What do you think? Shall we do this exercise? This is the hand outline, more exactly. So, um, Christian. Yes, sure. What is your favorite weather? Definitely the rainy weather. Okay, so rainy. Okay. And what are you wearing during rainy days? Usually I wear a raincoat. A raincoat, okay.
So here we have clothes. What can you do? You can look out the window, smell okay. the fresh air. Smell? And what can't you do? You usually can't go outside with minimal rain protection. Okay. Per se. And what are the advantages? Of this type uh, of weather? Fresher air. Fresher Fresh air. air. Smell of rain. And disadvantages? Wind. Yes. And? Usually it's windy outside and it is uh, very cold outside yes when it rains okay what about you nico do you have the same feelings uh, yes i do also with the rainy is yes. a rainy day your favorite yes it is okay so i have prepared for you some weird facts about weather so sometimes the weather can be very boring after all it is constantly happening for something more exciting check out these weird facts about the types of weather so the wind itself is actually silent did you know that of course not it doesn't make any sound until it blows against an object snowflakes can take up to an hour to reach the ground british people have a well-deserved reputation for small talk about the weather. Sometimes snow can be pink. Texas is the American state with the highest number of tornadoes per year, up to 110. Snow can actually fall in very hot places. You can use pine cones to predict the weather. The scales close up when it is about to rain and try putting one on your window to help you decide whether you will need an umbrella. And of course, we have some weather proverbs. Nicole, let's read the following list of weather proverbs and try to guess what each weather proverb means and explain to us in English. Yes, if girls fly, Low winds are going to blow. If crows fly high, winds are going to die. This means that a shower is very near. Uh, no weather is ill if the wind is still. It means calm winds and few clouds. News and weather, they travel together. Christian, can you please explain this proverb news and weather they travel together that usually weather can travel across multiple areas just as news is across multiple areas christian what about clear moon frost soon that means that it's, that it's going to snow Okay, Nicole, can you please explain the other ones? Yes, from 12 till 2 tells me what they will do. This means that it will be sunny. It rains as long as it takes rain to come. When It means when the rain is done, it's done. When seabirds fly to land, there truly is a storm at hand. It means a storm is coming. Christian, but what about this one? You didn't explain. It means um, that 
most showers of rain don't last long when it is uh, sunny outside. Okay, thank you. So another topic of discussion, it's about the difference between these groups of words. Nicole, can you please explain us the difference if you know what the snow is, sleet and hail? Firstly, snow, it is an atmospheric water vapor frozen into ice crystals. Sleet is rain that contains some ice as when snow melts as it falls. And hail is frozen wet frozen rain which falls in showers from cumulon nimbus clouds. Okay, Christian, what is the difference between a storm and a blizzard? Storms usually derive from warm conditions or cold. Blizzards are freezing cold with snow. So basically think about a snow snowstorm when you're thinking about a blizzard. The okay. storm is just a snowstorm without the snow. Nicole, what is the difference between a breeze and a hurricane? A breeze is a gentle wind, a gale is a strong wind, and a hurricane is a tropical storm with wind that can reach a constant speed of 74 miles per hour. Christian, what is the difference between mist and fog? What is a mist? Mist? Mist is a collection of air that can collect on objects. Fog is free and can be applied over large areas of land. Thank you. Nicole, what is the difference between a shower and sunny spells? A shower is usually a light fall of rain, and sunny spells is a short period of sunshine between rain or overcast skies. Christian, have you ever seen a tornado? Yes, I have, on television and online. Okay, can you please describe what is a tornado? A tornado is a collection of winds focused onto one spot. The only real reason why tornadoes are sometimes visible is that all the, the dust and the clouds can come down because of the tornado's strength. We do have a certain topic which is nearly invisible tornadoes from up. They look like cones that haven't formed yet, but halfway through, the dust doesn't get picked up. And most tornado hunters or People trying to survive it run it under it and get picked up by it because strong winds in a tornado is just slow winds. Thank you, Christian. In which okay. book did you read about tornadoes? In The Wizard of Oz, when Dorothy uh, what? was caught by a tornado with his, with her dog and house and she uh, somehow got into another dimension. Okay. What about collocations? It is useful to know which adjectives collo collocate strongly with which nouns. For example, we don't say strong rain, but heavy rain. Let's match the adjectives with the noun, with the correct collocation. Christian? Yes? Can you please help me solve this exercise? Torrential? Um. 
Torrential Rain yra. Kristi, Flash? Flash Floods. Severe? Severe weather conditions. Sunny, Nicole? Spells. Yes. Spells. Next, Nicole. Freak. Gales. Violent storms. High humidity. Okay, thank you. So, Christian, in what ways can you predict the weather? We can predict the weather with certain animals, such as cats. For a fact, cats lick their fur when or if a lightning storm is going to come around soon. Because they feel the static electricity. Nicole, did you like the lesson? Yes, I did. So, as homework for next time, you have to answer exercise 2. So, there are many sayings in English about the weather. For example, red sky at night, shepherds delight. Red sky in the morning, shepherds warning. What do you think this saying means? Are there any similar sayings in your own language? So, as homework, you have to translate them and we will check it next time. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Christian. Have a nice afternoon. Thank you for watching and see you next Monday. Goodbye.